It's going to be great having you over for dinner tonight, Liz. And before I forget, it's very important that you not arrive late. I'll be there on time, but why is it so important I not be late? Because it's rude? No, it's just that if you're late, you probably won't get any food. Maybe even if you're on time. I'm going to start cooking any minute now. We're having roast turkey. <gasps> roast turkey? I want a turkey in a raffle. They're supposed to deliver it any minute now. Dibs on the drumsticks and the rest of it, too. I'll be there. I hope Garfield leaves me the neck. <laughs> she says she hopes you leave her the neck. <gasps> the neck's the best part. She can have an ankle. Sounds like my turkey's here. Wonder how it rang the doorbell. John Arbuckle, I'm Mr. Gizzard, your local poultry specialist. I have a turkey for you. Thanks. Hey, this turkey's alive. Uh, Mr. Gizzard, the turkey, it's alive. So? Well, it's just that I can't, uh, I mean, I can't cook it if, oh. That is... You won a live turkey. I delivered a live turkey. If you don't know what to do with him, it's not my problem. Gobble, gobble. Oh. Hmm. Ooh, turkey for dinner. I'm having turkey for dinner. Delicious roast turkey dinner. Yum, 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 yum. Mm. Sure, you can have some. You can have the other ankle. Mm. Huh? Hi, guys. We're having lasagna for dinner. Lasagna for dinner. I'm having lasagna for dinner. Delicious baked lasagna. Lasagna? <clears throat> huh. Change of menu. If you want roast turkey, it's easy, Garfield. You go put it in the oven. Well, at least it's fresh. Gobble, gobble. Hmm. My dinner seems to be having lunch. Sorry, Garfield. I don't have the heart to end that little turkey's life, and neither do you. I hate it when John's right. Fortunately, it doesn't happen very often. <sighs> Time for my nap. John being right, how about that? <laughs> But he is right. I couldn't end that. <laughs> Maybe I spoke too soon. Okay, uh, Mr. Turkey kind, sir. Hi. I hate to disturb you, but uh, I was wondering if you could do one teensy teensy little thing for me. <laughs> Well, I was just kind of hoping perhaps you could... Oh, I see. How could I put this delicately? Get out of my bed! <laughs> a turkey in my bed. Is there anything I like less than a turkey in my bed? <laughs> yeah. huh? Yes! A turkey in my supper dish. Scram! Get away! Evaporate! Well, I think he's learned his lesson. I don't think he'll cause me any more trouble. Huh? This is my favorite show, Garfield. Mine too, except what I really like are the commercials for burritos. <laughs> You know, a hot turkey sandwich would taste really good right about now. I'll just put him outside. If you're going to sing that loud, fella, you're going to have to be further away. I'm thinking Peru. <laughs> What just happened? Ouch. OK, 
Okay, Turkey. You just became a to-go order. Scrawny, scraggly little neck of yours. Gazunche. <laughs> Don't tell me you're allergic to feathers, too. That turkey's going to drive us all crazy. I'm going to catch him and take him back to Mr. Gizzard. Oh, this I gotta see. <laughs> Could it be to catch a turkey? About that hard. I think it's time to leave this to the professionals. I'll be down in the basement. Good job, boy. Fortunately, some of us have a large selection of costumes in our costume trunks. Pirate costume, cowboy suit, cat costume. Why would I ever need this? Ah, turkey costume. Apart from a few mashed potatoes and gravy stains, it's perfect. <laughs> Hello, fellow turkey, gobble gobble. Don't worry, Garfield. I'll get him back to Mr. Gizzard. <laughs> Mr. Gizzard? I'd like to return this. Oh! You were very close. Uh, sorry. That's not a turkey. It's a cat in a turkey suit. I'll be right back. I'd like a turkey, please. Do you have one without fur? This time, I have the right turkey. He's cute and all. We just can't keep him around the house. Sure, I'll take him back. Maybe you can find a good home for him. Oh, this ain't a pet store, you know. You... you're not going to... It's what we do here, pal. Hey, wanna let me have him, too? <laughs> what I could get for him by the pound. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll just take this one. What are we going to do? I mean, we can't just let him... I'll take care of this, or my name isn't Garfield Turkey. Uh... Cat. You stay here. I have some knives to sharpen. We're gonna spring you from the joint. Just breathe deep. <laughs> Gesundheit! Now then, down to business. What are you sneezing about? Are you sick? Tell him yes. 
Whoa! This could be turkey pox. He could infect my whole shop. Wait, wait, wait. Take this turkey back. Uh, but you said... You want it, it's yours. Keep it out of my store. Gosh, huh? what do we do now? I had my heart set on having turkey for dinner tonight. And we're going to have that turkey for dinner tonight. Dad! I've been looking forward to this ever since John said he was having a turkey for dinner. <laughs> All right, everybody. Here's what you've been waiting for. <laughs> my special spinach lasagna. You really think the petting zoo will want him, Liz? Sure. The kids there will love him. And now that we've had the turkey here for dinner, maybe we can take him to a movie. <laughs> 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 I haven't seen Liz in days. Garfield, you don't look so good today. <sighs> Here we go again. Wouldn't it be easier to just buy your dinner? Can I help you hold your stethoscope? John, there's nothing wrong with Garfield. See, she knows. Nothing except his weight, of course. What do you know? Which reminds me, I better see how he's doing in that department. Oh, huh, two more pounds and I'll need a forklift to do this. Hey, sarcastic remarks are my job. Oh, you're going to inaugurate my new state-of-the-art animal scale, Garfield. <gasps> John, would you turn the dial to portly pussycat? <laughs> portly pussycat, just as you asked. Get off me, you <laughs> overweight tub of pasta and goo. Yikes, the thing talks, and it screamed at me, and it's rude. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this is a talking scale. Come back here, you bucket of lard. I wasn't finished with you. Oh, my. Garfield's heavier than I thought. It says he needs to lose two pounds right away, by the end of the week, if possible. And if he doesn't? Then I think we have no choice but to send him to the cat spa. Ooh, the cat spa. That sounds great. Massages, long naps, more massages, more long naps. They'll then put him on a strict, low-fat diet. Long nap, and then... Strict, low-fat diet? This low-fat diet, I can still eat lasagna and pizza and pork fried rice and bacon wrapped in bacon, right? Here's a video of the place I had in mind. Welcome to Maggie's Cat Spa, the world's leading health resort for lazy, overweight cats with attitude. When we brought Hector to Maggie's Cat Spa, he was eating 12 meals a day. Well, he, uh, he got so fat that when he had to walk from the living room to the kitchen, he took a cab. But thanks to Maggie's Cat Spa, this is all behind us now. Well, look at Hector now. Doesn't he look positively healthy and alert? At Maggie's Cat Spa, your beloved pet will be placed on a strict regimen of exercise and diet. Garfield can't go to that place. Yeah, listen to John. He's right for a change. Either he loses two pounds by the end of the week, or it's the cat spa for him. <laughs> Here, take the scale home with you so you can monitor his progress. I'll do my best to slim him down. Do you think you can do it, Garfield? Garfield! That's Liz's lunch! Mm. Hey, watching all that exercise made me hungry. <laughs> Dinner's ready, Garfield! I want lasagna and ribs and Chinese food and chocolate cream pie and roast beef with a side of roast beef and third helpings of my second helpings and... Huh? <laughs> Hey, what's this? Enjoy your lettuce leaf, Garfield. <laughs> Gee, I was expecting food. I put him on that strict diet you recommended, Liz. 
You know, these things aren't half bad if you cover them in whipped cream and chocolate sauce. Uh, I'll call you back, Liz. Let's see where we stand now. Hey, you gained another pound. Nice going, fatso. A few more ounces and you'll qualify for your own zip code. See? Now you have to lose three pounds. I'll worry about it in the morning. I don't know what will have to happen to get him to take this seriously. <sighs> John won't send me to that fat cat place. Even if he did, it wouldn't be so bad. <sighs> Out. I don't belong here. It's all a big mistake, I tell you. I'm not overweight. I just have a very thick thing of fur. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Nurse Psycho doesn't like it when we scream in terror. Nurse Psycho? You don't want to know what she did to the last fat, obese cat that complained. <laughs> what did she do? Let's put it this way. It was me. <gasps> Help! Help, John! Or better still, someone competent. Help! Wait, I have to get a grip. This nurse psycho couldn't possibly be that bad. Where's the new fat cat? Oh, yeah, she could possibly be that bad. There you oh, are. Oh, no. Have you been screaming in terror? What? Oh, me? Oh, no. I was practicing my yodeling. Here, listen. Hey, <laughs> old lady who? We're gonna get you in the shape. First, dinner. Dinner's good. I hope you like pea. peas. Peas. <laughs> sure, I like peas. No, pea. One pea. Ah! Gee, that's, uh, that's a pretty small pea. Would you all please turn away? I don't want to cry when my fans are watching. Eat it! Could I eat half now and then take the rest home in a doggy bag? Eat it! You'll start exercising as soon as you finish. As soon as I finish it. Okay, well, here goes. Mmm. <sighs> My compliments to the chef. Now, it's time for your workout. Oh, wait. I need time to digest that huge meal. <laughs> up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Now repeat, for the rest of all eternity. No. I must have lost two pounds by now. Sorry, pal. You're still fat. <laughs> faster! My grandmother can run faster than that. And hope she makes her grandmother do this too. I must have lost the weight by now. Didn't you hear me, Jumbo? You're still fat. <laughs> Faster! Get your boy. Faster! Faster! We don't like slackers around here. What am I doing here? Why are you doing this to me? And why is everything in black and white? I must have lost the weight by now. Guess what, Chubby? <laughs> That's right. You're fatter than ever. Even your flab is fat. You're so fat that when you sit around the house, you sit around the house. Knock off the insults. You're so fat yeah. that when you step on a scale, it says one at a time, please. You're so fat that you need a watch on each wrist, one for each time zone. Don't be afraid, Garfield. You're among friends. In fact, all your friends are here. I don't see any friends. Here are your friends, Garfield, P. 
pizza, ice cream, pie, cake, cheese, roast beef, and of course, lasagna. They're all your friends. We're your friends, Garfield. Whoa. Get away from me. Eat us, Garfield. Garfield. We're delicious. We're fascinating. We're your friends, Garfield. No, no, I have to lose weight. We're delicious. Oh, I, wait, oh, oh, I have to lose weight. I have to lose weight. I don't know what to do, Liz. I can't get him to exercise. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. John? John, is something wrong? I'll do sit-ups after I finish my aerobics. Uh, I'll have to call you back, Liz. I seem to be having hallucinations. Garfield, I'm so impressed. I'm sure you've lost at least two pounds. He'd better not insult me. You still need to lose two pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I can't understand it. You must have lost weight. You must have. Oh, I see what the problem is. I was supposed to set it for portly pussycat, and by accident, I set it for pint-sized parakeet. Huh? <laughs> You're fine. In fact, you may not have had to lose two pounds in the first place. <sighs> but isn't it good you dropped a few pounds, yeah. Garfield? Garfield? Why do you look so mad? Garfield, leave me alone! Don't hurt me! Help! Help! <laughs> I should go after him, but I have some more important things to do. Let's see what you weigh, Jumbo. What are you, an elephant? You really need to <laughs> lose weight. You need to. Yeah, I know it's cruel. But there's some things in this world you just can't forgive. And making me exercise is most of them. the new Sunday buffet at Vito's. Best pizza in the whole universe. Whew, sounds good. <laughs> Must be that brand new waffle machine I ordered last week on the shopping channel. Oh. Yeah, but what the... I... Huh? Where's my waffle machine? They must have mixed up orders. Now I'm officially miffed. Telepathic helmet. World's first telepathic gadget that allows you to read other people's minds. Batteries included, made in China, blah, 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 blah. Bogus, fake, phony, unsightly. Hey, what did... Well, I might as well give it a try. Hmm, let's see. Flick the power switch to on, then find someone and use the green knob to tune into their most inner thoughts. Huh? <laughs> Maybe I need to crank up the volume a bit. Ugh. Knew it. This stuff doesn't work. Just like the silly x-ray glasses they sell in comic books. Need cup. Of coffee now. Huh? Whoa. Who would have thought that? This stupid helmet actually works. Oh, I should have known better than to use Odie to set the volume. That dog is totally brainless. <gasps> Hiya! Here's your favorite freshly baked morning lasagna. <laughs> uh, uh. I hope he won't notice I cooked him some... Frozen lasagna, huh? 
Did you really think you could get away with this? Police. Uh, I can explain. The grocer was out of cheese. That cat is way too smart. Lucky he doesn't know about the carrot cake I hid behind the milk carton and the... Meow. <laughs> what? Ice cream sure looks yummy. Do you mind if I have a tiny lick? Actually, I would. I've been selected as one of the finalists in the cutest cat pageant, and I don't want to catch anyone's germs before the final judging, especially yours. <laughs> if Garfield doesn't notice I'm wearing eyeliner, maybe the judges won't know either. Hey, Nermal, those contests usually have a rule against makeup. It would be a real shame if the judges found out you were wearing eyeliner. <gasps> Did you know about the eyeliner? I didn't tell anyone. <coughs> oh. And only doubt we'll find it on Earth. This planet is way too primitive. We must report to Emperor Calizone at once. Meet me in the alley and make sure no one follows you. Affirmative. Hmm. I have no idea what they're up to, but I'd better keep an eye on them. <laughs> Whoa! Holy manicotti! They're aliens posing as humans! This better be good. I was only halfway through the Sandy comics. Our lifelong quest across the galaxies hasn't been in vain, my master. May have found it on a small planet they call Earth. Vito's Restaurant. Best pizza in the whole universe. Go now and investigate further. And if indeed this pizza is the best in the universe, we shall invade Earth and force Earthlings to cook millions of pizzas for our own planet. <laughs> yes, sure, my Stephel is Highness. Wow. The fate of our planet and our pizza is on my shoulders. I'd better go warn Vito. Who knows? Maybe I can get a free lunch out of it. Where do you think you are going, Garfield? Vito, you have to let me in. Some nasty aliens are on their way, and they're after your pizza. What's the matter? You cannot read the new sign on the door. Okay. All you can eat for $6.99 does not apply to orange cats whose names begin with G. Hardy har har, very funny. Now, you gotta excuse me, I got some customers. Oh, good evening, please come in. Oh, we're looking for the best pizza in the universe. <laughs> and you come to the right place, you come this way. So, what kind of pizza do you like? Oh, <laughs> all of them. Oh, you must be really hungry, no? Oh, you have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> you like? Uh, yes. <laughs> no, everything except this. Oh. You don't like the anchovy. These things are highly toxic uh, uh, to our kind. I make the pizza without anchovies. <gasps> they don't like anchovies? No, no, 
in the know. Oh, but we haven't tried the Hawaiian and Vito's special. Look, lady, I tell you for the thousandth time, it's already 20 minutes past the closing time. You go now. This human is annoying me. Can I eat him now? Don't. His pizza really is the best in the universe. Let's report to Emperor Calzone at once. I hate sci-fi. Aliens or no, I don't make any more pizza. Where is my pizza? Let me handle this, my bicephalous highness. Greetings, Earthling. The superior and unique taste of your pizza is legendary across the universe. Emperor Calzone himself has traveled across the whole galaxy just to give it a try. Really? If he likes your pizza, he'll want to export it across the Milky Way. We're talking major interstellar distribution here. Of course! You give me 15 minutes, and I'll bake him the best pizza in the whole universe! <laughs> What are you doing here? Vito, you can't cook for them. They want to take over the Earth. Why you try to wreck Vito's masterpiece? Is this going to be my best? Think of the free publicity if Emperor Calzone, he like my pizza. <laughs> if only he could understand the aliens like I do. Of course. Why didn't I think of this earlier? <laughs> hey, what do you think you are doing? Those Earthlings are so gullible. When are we taking over their unsightly planet? As soon as Emperor Calzone has tasted their pizza. Now I see. We gotta do something. I second that. Anchovy, of course. We're gonna cook them a pizza and they'll never forget. <laughs> He is, uh, he is my helper. <laughs> Treason! You, you tried, tried to, to poison your emperor! emperor. Uh, but, but your bicephal highness, uh, we, I... I am sending both of you to work in my uranium mines on the dark side of Valdebaran. I'm canceling the Earth invasion. We'll come back in a few thousand years to see if the Earthlings have improved on their cooking. This is the worst pizza in the whole universe! <laughs> Okay, I guess I owe you that much. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hope you're still hungry, cat. Bring it on. <laughs> Waking me up is a crime punishable by no less than 15 years in a maximum security prison. Or at least it should be. All right, I'm up. Let's see who's too stupid to not be sleeping at this hour. Oh, it's you, Harry. What are you looking for? Leftovers. In this house? Nothing is left over. 
So I see. What I really had my appetite set on was that nice, plump, juicy bluebird. Mmm, does that look like good eating? But I'll bet you've had your eye on that one for a while, right? Not right. I never chase any bird smaller than a roast turkey with stuffing, mashed potatoes, cranberry sauce, and that cream corn that John's mother made. What? No bird chasing? I gave it up. Too much work, too many feathers, not enough drumsticks. Then, uh, do you mind? Be my guest. Bluebird pie, here I come. <laughs> Round, bird, but I'll get you next time. Maybe those trash cans over on Maple Drive will have leftovers. Chasing birds. Looks like fun. But I'm not going to get back into that again. My chasing bird days are behind me. No, no! They're ahead of me! I must chase birds! Okay, if you were a cat, you'd understand. <clears throat> the hunt is on! <laughs> it's going over to the neighbor's yard. It won't get away from me. Do -de -do -do -do. Away from me. I'll just wait here until she comes back, and then I'll catch her. She has to come back. She left her eggs here. dinner to return. <laughs> the Garfield strip's funny today. I just gotta wait here. <sighs> no matter how long it takes. She shouldn't leave her eggs alone this long. Not with creatures like me about. What's wrong with that mother bird? Leaving her eggs alone all day? She kind of cold. I don't think that's good for them. Oh well, not my problem. I'll chase her tomorrow if she comes back. She has to come back. She has to take care of those cute little eggs. The female bluebird lays a clutch of three to five... Hi, Garfield. Eggs. I'm watching a very interesting documentary. Anything about feeding your cat? It's all about birds hatching eggs. The incubation process in which the female sits on the eggs to keep them warm takes around two weeks. It's not that warm out there. If the heat is not maintained, the eggs will perish. Perish? Oh, well. Like I keep telling myself, it's not my problem. <sighs> oh, I think I'll just give me a little sneak. Maybe 
Maybe I'll just make sure the mother bluebird has come back to sit on the eggs. I'm sure she has. She hasn't. Oh, this is not good. Maybe a muffler or a heating pad. I wonder if there's a place up here to plug in an electric blanket. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Okay, but don't tell anyone I did this. There you go. Keep warm the legs. It's just until the mother bluebird comes back. She'll be back any minute. Any minute. Born. Oh, and now there's another one being born. And this one. Oh, I'm a mother. What am I thinking? No, no, no. I'm I'm not your mama. Wait, stop that. I'm not your mama. I'm a cat. Honest. I am. Here, listen to this. Meow. Meow. See? I hate to abandon the little fellows, but I don't know anything about taking care of baby birds. No, not Mama. Why are you unclear on this concept? Oh, good time for a nap. It's always a good time for a nap. Birds, but I'm not cut out to be their mama. <sighs> what? You guys again? Look, you can't stay with me, fellas. And my water dish is not a bird bath. I don't care what you say. You can't live with me. And stop calling me Mama. Oh. Now you're gonna stay there, and that is an order. Don't look at me like that. I can't take care of you guys. You need someone who can teach you how to fly. I can't do that. You need someone who can share worms with you for lunch. I really can't do that. I'm not gonna look at him anymore. Your real mother will be back sooner or later. Now goodbye. Bye-bye, bluebirds. They'll be just fine. What if the mother bird never comes back? They could be cold. They could be hungry. <gasps> Be Harry's lunch. My babies! Mama, mama, mama. Hey, hold it down, little guys. I'm gonna be eating. Let me have those birds, Harry. Get your own lunch, Garfield. I said, let me have those birds. Hey, that's my meal. I saw him first. Hold it down, guys. If Harry catches us, you'll be bluebird sandwiches. Those birds are mine, Garfield. You can't get away from me, Garfield. I'm faster and I'm stronger. He's right. He is. I need a place to hide them. That's not fair, Garfield. I don't eat your lasagna. You could leave my bluebirds. Oh, big mistake. Now I'm trapped. Big mistake. Now you're trapped. I said that. Ah! Ouch! Stop! Don't hurt him. Oh, me! Don't hurt any of us. Now, finally, it's lunchtime. No! Ouch! Ouch! Get away! Stop! Stop! I'm giving up bluebird meal. I'm giving up eating birds all together. 
No, no, I, I was taking care of them. <coughs> Not me, guys. That's your mama. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. Come visit. Okay, so I saved some birds. You didn't see that, okay? I know where you live. <laughs>